लॉ ऑफ यूनिवर्सल ग्रेविटेशन ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स In a moment of inspiration, Sir Isaac Newton watched an apple fall to the ground and discovered the principle of gravity. Gravity is the force of attraction by which earth attracts everything towards its center. All objects in the universe attract each other. This force of attraction between objects is called the gravitational force. Every object in the universe attracts each other with a force which is proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Say there are two objects A and B separated by a distance d. The distance between the centers is considered the distance between the two objects and not this distance. Assume that the mass of object A is m1 and that of object B is m2. As object A is bigger, let's assume m1 to be bigger than m2. The universal law of gravitation says that the force is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. With this data, we can write it mathematically like this. So if the mass of any of the objects increases, the gravitational force will have more magnitude. and more the distance between the two objects the lesser will be the gravitational force this can be written as f equals g times m1 times m2 over d squared where g is a gravitational constant and the value of g is equal to 6.673 into 10 to the power of minus 11 newton meter square per kg square Let's calculate the force of attraction between the sun and the earth. The sun has a mass of approximately 1.99 into 10 raised to 30 kilograms, while the earth has a mass of roughly 5.98 into 10 raised to 24 kilograms. The distance between the sun and the earth is about 1.50 into 10 raised to 11 meters. If we substitute these numbers into the equation, The force of gravity between the sun and earth is 3.52 into 10 raised to 22 newtons or about 8.0 into 10 raised to 20 pounds of force. If so, why does the moon revolve around the earth? Newton argued that at each point of its orbit, the moon falls towards the earth instead of going off in a straight line. This is due to centripetal force. A continuously moving body in a circular path will change its velocity to accelerate itself. The force that causes this acceleration and keeps the body moving along the circular path towards the center is called centripetal force. The motion of the moon around the earth is due to the centripetal force. The centripetal force is provided by the gravitational force of attraction of the earth. If there was no such force the moon would pursue a uniform straight line motion towards the earth. We saw that the gravitational force is the attractive force between any two objects with non-zero mass separated by a distance. So does the apple fall towards the earth or does the earth move towards the apple or do both move towards each other? It's actually simple logic. Both apply an equal force to attract the other object towards itself. So if the forces are equal which one will accelerate more based on the Newton's second law so the acceleration will equal force over the mass the acceleration is inversely proportional to the mass if the mass is more the acceleration will be lesser as the mass of the earth is much 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 more than the mass of the apple it is the apple that accelerates towards the earth and not the other way around hope that makes it clear